Okay, hi everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today on our Facebook Live about pet holiday safety. Uh, my name is Ella. I'm on the marketing team at Natural Balance. Um, and today we'll just be talking about a few safety uh, for your pets during the holiday season. And I'm also going to give you some stocking stuffer ideas for your pets um, at the end. Um, and we will also be doing a giveaway of our Platefuls products at the end of the live. Um, and we will also be answering questions throughout the live in the chat. Um, so if you have a question, please type it in the chat and we will get back to you uh, during the live or also at the end of the live. Um, so just jumping into some of our safety tips for the holidays. Um, first of all, if you have a Christmas tree, um, it is a great idea to secure or put a barrier around your Christmas tree. Um, we just want to do this to make sure it doesn't fall and it also keeps your curious pets away from uh, knocking over the Christmas tree or any ornaments and breaking glass or anything that could be damaging. Um, I know my pets are always so curious about seeing the ornaments, so just being careful um, to secure that and keep a barrier around it if needed. Um, also avoiding certain holiday plants in your homes. Um, so poinsettias, mistletoe, holly, lilies, azaleas, these are all really toxic to pets and they can cause some pretty seri serious illness if um, they do eat them. So while these plants are really beautiful for the holiday, there are fake versions and artificial versions that you can use that will still really look beautiful but not um, risk any harm to your pets. Um, and also tinsel and ribbons are very tempting to cats. I saw this um, with my cats already. Uh, my cat loves shiny things, so as most cats do, um, they think they're toys and oftentimes will ingest them, which can cause some serious harm. So our recommendation is to avoid these items and just look for alternatives if you can that uh, may not be shiny and something they're gonna wanna grab and put in their mouth. Um, holiday candles, so um, make sure to never leave a lit candle unattended, obviously, but especially when you have pets in the house, you really want to be careful with that. Um, keep them in the open and in out of reach areas of your home so your pets can't reach them and possibly catch themselves on fire because um, if their fur gets near it, it can easily catch fire. Or also, we want to make sure your pets don't knock any candles over. Um, also wires. So during the holidays, there is a lot of there are a lot of wires um, for like Christmas tree lights or just lights in general above a fireplace or anything. Um, so we just want to make sure that those are secured as they can be chewed on by uh, cats or dogs. And then looking at holiday foods. So sweets like chocolate, dry cocoa powder, baking chocolate, anything of that nature are more prevalent in the house during the holidays. Um, but we really want to make sure to keep those out of reach as chocolate is very toxic to dogs and cats. Um, also try to avoid table scraps, especially bones that can harm your pet or cause serious digestive issues. Um, and also make sure to secure your trash can and take out your trash more frequently. Um, I know it can get hard like if you're having family over or a big dinner party um, to keep an eye on the trash and make sure that it's going outside but um, taking it out more frequently will eliminate the temptation of your pets getting into the trash and possibly taking out anything that could harm them. Um, and this one is also, this tip is especially important for uh, New Year's Eve, but also during um, other winter holidays. Um, but providing your pets with a room of their own or a quiet space, if there is a loud environment like a dinner party or anything like that, um, it's really important to have a safe and secure place for them, especially with New Year's with the loud noise. So if your pet is sensitive to loud or popping noises, avoid the use of poppers or like those little confetti things in your house um, because they can be really loud and scary to uh, pets. Um, and this will obviously eliminate any unnecessary stress and anxiety that uh, your pet may deal with if they don't like loud noises. So now going to um, some gift ideas and stocking stuffers. So if your dogs are anything like mine, they get their own little stocking um, for Christmas. And uh, my dogs go crazy over what is in their stocking. So I love to, first of all, put some toys in there, um, some ch uh, chew toys that are safe for their size and their breed. Um, and also our products make really, really great stocking stuffers. So I'll just go through a few of them. 
So starting off, we have our freeze-dried raw products that you may or may not have seen before. Uh, we have our chicken and sweet potato recipe and our beef and brown rice recipe. Um, these limited ingredients are limited ingredient products are very versatile. They can be used as a meal, topper, or treat. So it makes a great gift, um, whether it's for your own pet or a friend or family member's pet. Um, and then also we have our rewards products. So we have our jumpin' sticks, our crunchy biscuits, and then also our mini rewards. These are my personal favorite for stockings because you can literally just pop them right in. Um, and they're just our small size treats that are perfect for uh, giving the pets treats and also training. Um, and we also have our chicken flavor, turkey flavor, and salmon flavor. And we have really cute new packaging on them now with um, different little icons on them. So I definitely recommend these for stocking stuff or gifts. And then we also have our Platefuls products. Um, this is something I really want to talk about because they are a great product for the holidays. They're basically like a home style holiday meal for your pet or for your dog. Um, so we have our two flavors here. We have harvest chicken and rice, and then we have savory duck and pumpkin. Um, they're both great options um, and they can be served as a meal or topper and they also provide a complete and balanced nutrition for all breeds of dogs. Um, they're also for, great for on the go. So it's a really easy to open and serve pouch. I'm not going to open it right now, but there's literally just a little tab right here and you just peel it um, and easily scoop it out just to serve. Um, and again, that can be as a topper on top of kibble or a meal by itself. Um, and it's also really great for picky dogs. One of my dogs is so picky, but is obsessed with platefuls. Um, they are cooked in savory herbs and also a tasty bone broth, which makes it really delicious for dogs. Um, and also essential vitamins and um, minerals help to support healthy skin and coat, um, which are listed all on the back. If you're able to see on the pack and check out the back of the ingredients, um, those are all listed on there. And they can also be found online or at your local retailer. So you can find them where Natural Balance products are sold. But um, they are overall a really great product. I definitely recommend them for the holidays. Um, and if you haven't tried them yet, you should definitely try them out. And again, we'll be doing this giveaway um, of these Playfuls products to 10 random participants. So make sure you ask a question in the comments for us to answer. And we would love to get back to you. Um, and also just a reminder that you can call our customer care department for any questions you may have about any of our products, like the ones I introduced here or any of our product line. Um, we have a group of registered vet technicians that are waiting to speak with you. So um, again, I can't wait to see your questions in the chat and get to answering them um, and also do our giveaway. But I hope that uh, these safety tips helped out some of you guys and I hope everybody has a great holiday season. Thank you.